Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. Today we show you how to mirror and control your Android device on your Raspberry Pi, in this case on Raspbian, uh, with mouse and keyboard. So this program is so lovely, but uh, the name is a bit difficult to pronounce, so I will not do that. First, you need to install all the dependencies. It's just a copy and paste all, all that lines, including OpenGDK. Then we need to clone the the source code, so we go to the desktop, paste, and that will run the program. Then we go to the bottom of the page and we download the prebuilt server, which is now on my desktop. I will move it to our clones folder and to build uh, this program with the upper build server here is the line you will need to replace the the exactly the, the path of your um, of your parallel server, so I, I copy the, the path and the place. Open a terminal, paste. I forget to install uh, ADB, which is a program that allows you to communicate with uh, your Android device, so to so install ADB. Remember, to have better performance, you need that USB Type-C uh, device. So Ninja to, to build the program and then sudo Ninja install to install the program. Remember to have a Deporation USB enable, enable on your dev options on your Android device. Then plug your Android device to the Raspberry Pi. And with ADB devices, we will check that it's connected properly it will pop up something on your Android device that you need to accept in order to establish the connection properly. Um, then we fire up the program. Remember, this is micro USB tablet and it's a 2K tablet, so the performance is horrible right now. I will improve it. On, uh, I will improve it, uh, reducing the resolution. You will see um, this performance is awful. So we, the name of the program and dash dash help, you will see the options of the program. And we need to, if you see that dash M will uh, shrink the resolution and that will speed up a lot the, the, the frame rate. So we'll do we shrink uh, to 1280, so 720p. And 
and you can see the frame rate on the side on on terminal. This uh, program doesn't forward the audio, but you can add a plugin that I will place on the description. It's a GitHub repo, and that will uh, help you with um, for forwarding the audio. So it's done in uh, near persistent on 30 FPS. Great for being a um, 720p on USB, uh, sorry, a mic or micro USB, which is uh, a horrible standard on speed on bandwidth. But it's done in great. I think it's a very useful app to uh, give a new life to all Android devices. You need uh, Android 5.0, I believe, to use this program. But uh, any old Android device has at least a 5.0, I believe. So it's done great. I love this program. It's really fast and it does what it should do too. And it does uh, really well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and try it on your Raspberry Pi 4. It's needed as Raspberry Pi 4 because Raspberry Pi 4 has USB 3.0 and that it will improve a lot the bandwidth uh, when you are streaming. So uh, consider to subscribe and press the like button. So we see you on next video. Bye.